Hey guys, welcome back to this week's taste test video. This one should be a quick one. I think we've got like four new items to try, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is gonna be our first item that we are trying today. This one is the organic lemon torchietti pasta. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but so lemon pasta, isn't that weird? It is very weird. It's definitely different. So this one I think is the item that I'm definitely most curious to see if how this tastes. Okay, so here is the pasta all cooked up and we are just eating this plain because I really wanna taste this by itself to see how lemon flavored um, this is. So I just put a tiny bit of olive oil on it and that's it. I mean, obviously you're not supposed to eat it plain, but. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's plain, but I really wanted to see how lemon, you know, potent it is. And I think it's the perfect amount you definitely get a subtle hint of lemon, but it's nothing overpowering at all. So I definitely would pair this with something, uh, any type of sauce I think would go great with it. And it just has like a little freshness of lemon, which is good, I like it. So I think if you were to pair this with any type of sauce that you typically use, I think it would go good together. It's perfect. I was worried that it was gonna be like too lemony, but I think it's just the right amount. What do you think? Well, it's a plain noodle. Yeah, I know. You need your meat sauce. Yeah, pretty much. And honestly, I was thinking, I don't know what sauces you would use for this. But, you don't. Uh, so you don't think it would go good with like a meat sauce? Or an Alfredo maybe? Or some basil? Uh, pesto? Yeah, maybe the pesto one. But The pesto, so you don't you think know. it would go good with the meat sauce then? My first thought, no. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. It's, I mean, it's a noodle. Okay. Well, speaking of pesto, we've got a pesto here to try. So we're gonna try this. This is the olive and basil pesto sauce. So we could pair this with the lemon noodles, but I wanna try this on its own first to see how it is. You gonna try it? Well, why would I try this? Why would you not? Because it's olive and basil and pesto. Oh, so it's you olive and basil and You pesto. caught that there was olives in here. I was trying to see if you had oh. a slide and you would not oh, notice I see that. It. I see it. Okay, okay. Well, let me see what this tastes like, if it's very olive forward or not. Oh. It definitely, it, it smells like a mixture of olives and pesto. So, mm. I mean, that's what it should be, but let's see. Hmm, okay. Yeah, you're not gonna like this one. It's <laughs> probably best if you don't try this one. Yeah, okay, it's good. It's completely different from any other uh, pesto that Trader Joe's carries. It's, a, I think, a perfect combination of both. You get the little bit of the basil pesto, but you're definitely gonna taste those green olives in there. So if you do not like olives, stay clear of this one. Um, it's good. I don't know what you would put this on, though. I don't know if this would be good on the noodles. I might put some on there since I have the noodles here and kind of see. This would be good on a sandwich. I think really good on like a panini or a sandwich or something like that. Not so much probably on a pasta dish, but sandwiches or even the garlic naan. I like to do that with some mozzarella cheese and artichokes and stuff. I think that would be good as well too. I'm excited to use this on like my lunches and stuff, but this is something I think I would get again. I, I like this one, but I like olives, so. I don't like olives. <laughs> There's a lot of olive things in my refrigerator. Yes, well, that's what happens when you marry somebody who loves olives. All right, so next up is the strawberries and cream gelato. Yep, mm -hmm. got it right. Sweet. Vanilla bean and strawberry with candy strawberry pieces. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Yes. This is a taste test video now. <laughs> okay. Okay. There you go. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's half, like half vanilla, half strawberry. Yeah. Well, let's dig in. I'll kind of go in the middle. I want to get both flavors in there. Oh, I see oh. the candied strawberry, or the, was it, yeah, the freeze-dried strawberries in there. I don't know if I got any in my bite, but. Yeah, you can see it there. Yeah, now that you took a big chunk, there's a bunch in there. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh, wow. That's good. Mm-hmm. Thanks. This is my dinner. Oh, that's delicious. That's really good. Wow. Okay, I was, I was saying in my haul that I, I think every week Trader Joe's comes out with some sort of new ice cream or noodle. It's like every other week they have a new one. So we've tried quite a few, I think, ice creams this past like month or two. Right. Hands down, 
my favorite one that we've tried in a long time. This is going in the top like five, I feel like for me. This is really good, it's so creamy. The strawberry and the vanilla flavors. My two favorite flavors personally with the can with the strawberry pieces in the middle and the creaminess of it too. Oh, it's delicious. I ate a lot just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I like the last ice cream we tried too. The, the use it one was good too. Good, mm -hmm. But um, yeah, this is really, really good. Yeah, this oh. is a dangerous one because I can just keep eating this one. The use it one's very yeah. strong. And we still have it in there because I can only take a little couple, you know, a couple spoonfuls here and there. But this one is just like you'll eat all this. Yeah, you could just you yeah. could just keep going. Sorry. This yeah. one's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. One sitting, gone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're on to our last item. We are going to be trying the all butter shortbread sandwich cookies with raspberry filling in the middle. So a couple of you said in my haul that these are delicious. So I am excited to try these. Okay, so these are what they look like. A nice, uh, long, two shortbread cookies with the raspberry filling in the middle. It's good, but I can't beat that ice cream. I know. That ice cream was like amazing. It was, it was really good. <laughs> but these are good, I do like these too. Yeah, these are good. It almost reminds me of a Pop-Tart. It kind of does, yeah. Because <laughs> the raspberry filling in the middle, and my favorite part of a pop tart is the crust. This is kind of like the crust. <laughs> the crust of a pop, you know, with the raspberry. You are one of the very few people to say that. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't like frosting, really. I'm the type of like, person that'd be breaking the crust off and eating. The and center. I'm the type of person that like scrapes the, the frosting off the cookies, and it's just I like crust. I don't know. <laughs> Crusty. But yeah, these are great. It's definitely, you can taste the shortbread cookies. I love a good shortbread cookie. And then it has just like that raspberry jam. It's nothing fresh. Um, it's like those, it, you know, it tastes like yeah. a Pop-Tart filling. Yeah. It's, you, there's natural flavor in there. So it's definitely not a fresh um, raspberry taste in the middle, but it's still good. I like it. And then my favorite part is the shortbread cookie personally, but these are good. If you like a shortbread cookie and you like the raspberry filling, um, then yeah. I would go for these, they're good. I'm definitely gonna eat them. Okay guys, so that was a quick one this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, you guys have to know what our favorite was, right? Clearly the olive and the, the noodles. <laughs> I, right, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, the strawberry Strawberry gelato. ice cream, hands down. Yes, mm -hmm. gelato. So good, Res for those shortbread cookies were amazing too. And then I really liked, I like the pesto. I'll be using those um, on my sandwiches, I think. <laughs> But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.